Time for bed, Olaf. Knock, knock. Who's there? Elsa asked from behind the door. I'm ready for the sleepover, Olaf answered, running inside. Let's start sleeping. Elsa laughed. Actually, she said, sleepovers are for fun first. The sleeping comes later. Olaf grabbed Anna's hand and led her outside. Can Swen join us? He asked excitedly. Please, pretty please with ice cream on top. Anna patted Swen's nose. Of course he can join us. Let's build the biggest fort ever, Anna suggested running into the ballroom. Elsa waved her hands and created towers and slides of ice. While Anna and Olaf carefully placed blankets and pillows they had collected from all over the castle. I have my own entrance, Olaf said happily. Do you know what it's time for, Olaf? Anna asked. Before Olaf could answer, Elsa shouted, Snowball fight! Olaf, duck! Anna laughed. I don't see any ducks, answered Olaf. Just a reindeer. When the snowball fight was over, Anna disappeared into her bedroom. Look what I found, she shouted, showing everyone a jar of Oaken's own night cream. Anna smeared the concoction on Olaf and Swen's faces. That looks, um, interesting, she said. How do you feel? Like a slimy sea monster, answered Olaf. While Swen and Olaf were getting their bedtime facials, Elsa was busy making tea with honey for Anna. She knew that snacks are an important part of any successful sleepover. After tea, it was time for ghost stories by candlelight. No one is a better scary storyteller than Anna. Even though it was Olaf's fourth time hearing the tale of Harry Hooligan, he was still surprised at the end. Since no Arendelle sleepover is complete without a game of pickup sticks, that was the next activity for the evening. Olaf was winning until his arm dropped onto the pile. Can someone give me a hand? Olaf giggled. Once Olaf had his arm back, he and Anna got busy drawing colorful pictures. Elsa also made some art of her own, ice sculptures. They are all so beautiful, Anna signed. I never get tired of seeing them. Thanks, Anna, answered her sister. I never get tired of making them. Anna yawned, speaking of tired, I'm sleepy. Swen, Olaf, and Anna got cozy among the pillows and blankets in Elsa's room. It was time for their favorite sleepover tradition, the bedtime story. Elsa opened a storybook and began to read. Once upon a time, in a forest far, far away, there lived a brave queen who was in search of a ferocious dragon. When Elsa looked up from her book, she found that her audience had already fallen fast asleep. Good night, Elsa whispered, and sweet dreams.